Hello and welcome back. We are going to have a blast learning how to draw fur. I almost said create fur because it's actually a process that most of us don't use very often. It's impressed lines into the paper. It's indenting into it. It's creating a surface that has slits in it and pressed down and borders. And then you're going to add your color and create fur. It's not easy to do just going ch -ch -ch -ch. Today we're going to learn a simpler method. As promised, we are going to learn how to create fur without drawing one piece of hair fur at a time. This is actually the indented, impressed, etched, incised. It's, you're pushing down into the paper and making a mark. I drew my, my little bear hair first and changed it a little bit and then made it simple. And then I used my transfer method that you learned on my tips and tricks to actually make a bear on black paper, which is hard. If you notice, you can see it. I did some of the fur itself. So the panda bear is not quite done because I want to show you tools. This does not work. It has a point and I thought this will work great. It did not. Then I thought, oh, look at the back of a paintbrush. Plastic does not work. I guess plastic just doesn't work. This did work, but this also has a little tiny point on it. A little point as well. This is used for scratch art, but it also has a very good point. My daughter suggested this and it works really good. I was thinking a knitting needle, but couldn't find one anywhere in my house. But I did have crochet needles. Beautiful top and really good pressure. This was a chopstick. Whoppa! And I actually, I knew it. Most of the time when I want to open this, I pop the whole thing off. Pop, open. And I just sharpened it until it made a nice point. That's really, really, really pointy. And then just your general regular chopstick works as well. I'm going to hopefully demonstrate each one of these to you. Come back, <sighs> blow it off. You can't see it. You will be able to see it because you'll be able to see your lines, but I'm going to get some fur going here. I'm going to tell you, don't go up and down, up and down, or you're going to get more of a feather. It's going to look like a feather. You do need to do these strokes. And you'll be able to hear if you're doing it right. Think about the way the hair grows too. Hair grows in certain directions. Now, it's mostly white. So anything that's pushed in is going to be, no, not white, it's going to be black. So when you're doing this, don't overdo. This is not going to be the black fur. This is going to be, all right, there's one, two. Now that's a little straight, but I did it on both sides. So, as you can see, this one doesn't go as deep. A regular chopstick, and I almost said toothpaste. Now I'm gonna round it. I almost did what I told you not to do. This one's actually, there we go. I was gonna say it's making a mark on the paper. I think I won't use that anymore. I'm gonna go, oh, since I pointed this out, I wanna show you. It is almost all white. Now the ears, are black so you're going to have to do some heavy-duty scratching let's go for the big guy I'm scrumbling with this going in a circle because that way I'm getting more surface area oh, that's gonna show everything's gonna show you'll love it it's 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 a form of printmaking really in a way because you're indenting into the paper Let's see where else. Um, he's almost all white, so I'll just give it a few more so that we can see what happens. He's going to be primarily white, or she's going to be primarily white. I don't know. Oh, I did that there, so now I need to do it tight. Are you all ready? White pencil, tools off to the side. 
Now we're going to use our finger as a bumper. You want to put a little pressure on this. Do your scrumbling around and around. Oh no, that's all right, I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna put my finger on it even though it's... Here comes the hair. You won't really see everything until you get this done and you'll see all these little hairs. Now I'm gonna round this out. Let's see if we got the black ears. I'm not gonna press this hard there because I want it black. Let's go all the way around. All right, I might have to sharpen my pencil. Let's see, I think I have enough. Around and around and around. I did do some hair sticking out, so I wanna go beyond where I indented so that we get those hairs. I may have gone a little farther there, but that's all right. Lightly over the ear because it's black, heavy on the outside so you can see the definition. All right, all the way across. Let's do this first, let's sharpen this pencil. It's kind of wobbly. A little bit more. On colored pencils, the taller the tip, the more chance you have of it breaking apart. There we go, I'm done. And let's do this. Oh, there we go. I was waiting for the white to show up. It just showed up. And the eyes. You can, after you're done doing it this way, go back and darken in some of your areas. See, I'm going in a circle. Here comes the polar bear, the polar bear. Goodness me, Miss Linda. Polar bears are white, I guess my brain was there. Pandas, polars, it's a bear. Oopsie, again, running out of white. Colored pencils are so different. You'll be able to see where you missed because it will be darker. Turn it one more time. Almost done, almost done. Ooh, all right. One polar bear done. That was super quick. Now what I was talking about is you can go back now and you can enhance anything that you'd like and finish your drawing. But you didn't have to draw every little piece of hair. Wasn't that good? All right, I'm gonna stop because otherwise I'll sit here and do it until I finish. Black paper, white pencil, find your own tools, get creative, and really enjoy learning a new skill. Now, that was just a brief lesson on how to create fur in your drawings. And I know that it was a panda bear, even though I said it was a polar bear. They all have fur, so we learned how to do that fur, that hair. Practice, do it over and over again. You'll be so pleased with yourself once you master it.